I've been working on a project that was really a lot of fun. As you can tell, I'm here in my studio, which is a bit messy because I've been sampling a lot of analog synthesizers. I got my DFM out, my Mother 32 out, I plugged it in the modular synth, run them through um, effects pedal. It, it was really cool. And one of the main challenges that I found in that is to work out how to synchronize everything together. And the way you do that is obviously uh, by sending MIDI out uh, from uh, the computer, um, plug it in in the synthesizers, syncing them together in clever ways, and then sending the MIDI clock out from my logic session into the synthesizers. Uh, it, it, it was okay, it has been a little bit challenging and a lot of the information that I found online was ref were referring to Ableton Live because this seems to be uh, what uh, most electronic musicians use and I think that uh, for us film score composers or media composers it's helpful to see them in other environments so I just wanted to um, quickly show you how to do that in, uh, in Logic. In terms of connections obviously uh, all you need is a MIDI cable just uh, like this one that it goes out from your MIDI interface and then I plugged it in inside the Mother 32 uh, that was sort of my master clock and then you basically just need an audio track in Logic uh, to get the uh, audio back and that's uh, fairly straightforward but uh, I'll show you on Logic how to set up the MIDI clock. So now we're in Logic and uh, we're just uh, open my uh, default template. This is what I see when I start any new project. And the first thing we need to do is to add an audio track, obviously. Uh, it's on input 4 because this is where uh, the DFAM is uh, running to. So we create it. And if I input record it and turn the volume of my sequence on, it should hear some sound. And it's working great. Uh, obviously, this is not synced, so if you you notice that if I uh, keep that going and um, change the BPM, it won't change at all. Okay, so that's obviously a problem and not what we want at all. And to sort this out, you go to File, Project Settings, Synchronization. You click on the MIDI tab and on the destination, you need to select the output in the MIDI interface you're using. In my case, it's DIN2. Uh, and then you need to select the clock. Now, this bit of information is interesting. It says that the clock is basically saying that the clock is going to be sent at play start or stop or continuous cycle jump and so on and so forth. What it means is that it's not automatically going to send MIDI clock continuously because it doesn't work like that. So I'll actually need to press play in order for it to sync. And let's see how it works. And that's it, and I can uh, record it and sync it to the grid, and it works fine. And thanks for listening, hope this was useful somehow, and I'll see you next time.